guys. I'm sorry if I sound a little out of it. I am sick and I did not sleep well last night. But that's probably why this is up probably a little late. As the title says, I am doing the 10 unpopular opinions tag. I do not know who created this. However, I was tagged by Tanya from Tea Time with Twins. I will link her video down in the doobly doo. In particular, she wanted to see it about books. So I'm doing 10 unpopular opinions I have about books. These are not in any particular order and they're not a top 10 because they're just 10 things about books that I don't like or that I do like that are kind of unpopular. So number 10, although I have read the Shadow Children series by Margaret Peterson Haddix, Divergent by Veronica Roth, and The Legend by Marie Lu, not the series, just the first book, I'm still not a huge dystopian fan. I'm not. That still kind of puts me off. Although I own The Hunger Games and plan to read it, I am not certain that I will like it in the slightest. Number nine is that, and this is really unpopular, Twilight isn't that bad, really. A lot of people ragged on it for a while. They hated a lot of things about it. I agree, you know, Edward is pretty darn abusive and it kind of glorifies bad relationships, which isn't good, but I like the writing style. I love the way Stephanie Meyer portrays emotion and I like all the other characters, like the three main characters, Bella, Edward, and... Jacob, they're not my faves. I saw a, an opinion on Tumblr about how Twilight, the side characters, had a better storyline than the main story. But still, I thought it, the vampires glowing in the sun, like the glitter vampires, was interesting. I liked that the werewolves weren't really werewolves and how they were done and how they look and stuff. I like a lot of things about Twilight enough that I will always own it. Number eight. I saw on Tumblr someone said, at least I've never had a Naruto phase. I love Naruto. I will always love Naruto. I have finished the entire series and I want to own all of it. Me and my friend Carl, Raven's husband, he also loves Naruto. He has a lot more Naruto than I do. I have a lot more bleach than he does. I love Naruto and I think it's better than quite a few YA books that I've read. Number seven, I also prefer middle grade over YA. I have a lot of middle grade. I have mostly middle grade manga and adult books versus YA. They very much outnumber, and middle grade alone outnumbers my YA books on my shelf. Generally, I like more middle grade than I like young adult. However, there is a difference between middle grade and independent reader. This is technically closer to independent reader, and I don't like a lot of independent reader, but they're kind of grouped together, like Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus. That's all middle grade, and I love that. Number six, I straight up don't like tea. I have had quite a few teas. I didn't like green tea. I liked mint tea, but I was drinking it because I had the stomach flu, so it's not like I want to drink it all the time. But I got sick last time. I'm sick right now. I'm probably going to end up having to drink tea. And I'm just not a huge fan of tea. And so the whole aesthetic of drinking tea or coffee, I do not like coffee. Drinking that and reading books is not my thing. I just don't like it. Give me hot chocolate, get me soda, get me water, not tea or coffee. Blech. Number five, I really don't like contemporary books and I really, really don't like romance. And contemporary romance, a lot of people talk about, oh, that's what I read when I'm having a bad time or I'm feeling down and I want something light and fluffy. I go for manga. I never go for contemporary or romance. I just don't like them. There's only one romance book on my shelves and that is The Gladiator by Carla Cow. Capshaw, I want to buy, well, first I want to read and then buy The Protector by Carla Capshaw, but that's about it. I didn't like any other love inspired books that I picked up. I didn't like the romance that I read before I really was like, no, I'm not going to read romance. I only have a few shoujo manga, which is the romance and none of it's contemporary. So I just, I don't like contemporary. I don't like romance. And when they're together, it's just, no. Number four, I hate bad boys. A lot of people are tired of them, but I've never really liked them. Now it's one thing if we're talking like Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson is okay because he 
is an actual good person. He doesn't hurt the people around him. He doesn't belittle Annabeth. He doesn't look down on some people. He doesn't like insult and, and hurt people to make himself feel better. Yes, he doesn't follow the rules. Yes, he is infamous for getting into trouble. That doesn't change in Heroes of Olympus. But at the same time, you know, he doesn't hurt others. I can't stand bad boys, which leads to my number three and number two. I don't like the Mortal Instruments series. I read the first three very quickly. I loved them when I read them. If you go on my Goodreads, I think I gave them a four or five out of five stars. And then I bought them and I took a step back from the series and there was a break in between three and four. And I didn't enjoy it. I realized I didn't like it at all and so I ended up selling it. And so I just don't like the Mortal Instruments as a whole. There's a lot of things I don't like. Jace is a big reason. Again, bad boys. Not a huge fan. I just... I don't like the Mortal Instruments, and everyone's gaga over it. I'm not the biggest fan, but at the same time, I'm kind of interested in seeing the TV show. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Ah. And number two, I really don't like the Lux series either. I read Obsidian, I tried to get into Onyx, which is book two, and I just couldn't. I hate Damon. I hate Damon. Kate is a... Katie, Cat, whatever her name is. She's not a very good character. I don't think it's all that well written. There's a lot of flaws with the Lux series and everyone, including my best friend LA Knight, love it and I don't. And my number one, I read manga and comics way more than books. I own about the same. But the difference is I have four manga, comic, graphic novels that I haven't read and I have like 130, 140 books I haven't read. So I read more manga, I own more manga that's read. I mean, if you check my last year, over half of what I read last year was comics or manga or graphic novels. I'm not the biggest reader of books. I choose manga all the time and when I feel down, I go for manga, always. Always give me some bleach, give me some One Piece, especially One Piece. Gosh, I love One Piece. Full Metal Alchemist, oh, I love it. No, Nora Rise of the Yokai Clan, Ramoni Kenshin. I love manga and comics, and a lot of book readers don't even consider them real books, and yet I always count them. All right, those are my 10 opinions that aren't very popular. If I offend anybody, I am sorry. If you love Lux or Mortal Instruments, that's fine. That's fine. I gotta admit, I'm, I want to see this TV show. And if you don't agree with anything, if middle grade is so not your thing, if you can't stand manga, that's fine. To each their own. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more every Friday's a book review. I'm hoping that that will... I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of worried about my job. I have no clue what's going to happen when I start the job. I'll know with training. Good luck with your reading and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Is I sorry, my mom's coffee. Three manga, comics, graphic novels. Four, technically. Okay, so you couldn't have gone three more seconds. Couldn't have gone three more damn seconds.